Price volatility has always been a major hurdle to cryptocurrency adoption. Bitcoin, for example, can drastically change in value from month to month or even hour to hour. It's a turn-off for many investors. That's where stablecoins come in. They differ from traditional cryptocurrencies as they are backed by reserve assets, such as the US dollar, the Swiss franc, gold, silver or crude oil. This helps to keep their prices stable. For example, for every Swiss franc stablecoin issued, a real Swiss franc would be deposited in a bank safe. So investors would know that a Swiss franc stablecoin would match the value of the Swiss franc. There are three types of stablecoins based on the mechanism used to stabilize their value. One, fiat collateralized stablecoins. These maintain a reserve of fiat currency as collateral to assure the stablecoin's value. Fiat currency is money used as legal tender, like the Swiss franc. The most famous fiat collateralized stablecoin is Tether, which is pegged to the US dollar, or low-risk financial instruments such as US Treasury bills and backed by gold reserves. It can change hands fast 24-7 and retains its value. 2. Crypto collateralized stablecoins These are backed by other cryptocurrencies. They are over collateralized to ensure against volatility. So the value of cryptocurrency held in reserves exceeds the value of the stablecoins issued. 3. Algorithmic stablecoins These may or may not hold reserve assets. They aim to keep the stablecoin's value stable by controlling its supply through an algorithm. It's essentially a computer program running a preset formula. Stablecoins are not the same as central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, which are also being developed by the Swiss National Bank, for example, to increase payment efficiency and lower transaction costs. Recent research shows 60% of surveyed central banks have stepped up their CBDC work in response to the emergence of crypto assets. The downside of CBDCs is that they may not be based on blockchain or be available for retail use. So stablecoins have taken off to meet the market's demands. Can I shop with stablecoins in Switzerland? The southern Swiss city of Lugano has partnered with Tether to make it possible to buy goods and services using Bitcoin, Tether and Lugano's own LVGA points token. It's part of the city's bid to become Europe's Bitcoin capital. In a separate project, Swiss Stablecoin has hooked up with PostFinance to produce a Swiss franc-backed stablecoin for shoppers. The pros and cons of stablecoins Many analysts believe stablecoins could become a backbone for payments and financial services, providing cheaper, faster, safer and more competitive payments. They are a boon for retailers, as payments can take minutes to process rather than days. But economists warn that, without robust legal frameworks, stablecoins could collapse. 